Hello students, today as it is known to you, the paper of JE Advance was conducted. So let's talk about the solution of this paper. We are talking about the solution of paper 1, code 8 of the maths, right? The question number started with question 41. So let's talk about the first one that is 41. Four person independently solve a certain problem correctly with probabilities 1 by 2, 3 by 4, 1 by 4 and 1 by 8. Then the probability that the problem is solved correctly by at least one of them is given by. There are four options mentioned. The question is quite simple one. As it is asked that at least one of them solves it correctly. At least one of them means I can read it as option 1, one person solves correctly or exactly two solves correctly or exactly three solves correctly or all four solves correctly or the better choice is required probability is equal to 1 minus nobody solved it because that will give me at least one is solving. So, it simply we get 1 minus the first person did not solve it means 1 minus half second person did not solve it 1 minus 3 by 4 third means 1 minus 1 by 4 and fourth means 1 minus 1 by 8 so we write it as 1 minus half into 1 by 4 into 3 by 4 into 7 by 8 or simply 1 minus 21 divided by 256 giving me answer as 200 and 35 divided by 256. So, the required probability comes out as 235 upon 256 which matches with the option number A. So, the correct answer for this first question goes to option A. Correct? Let us go for the second that is question number 42. Okay, let us talk about the next question that is question number 42. Let f from half to 1 to set of real numbers be a positive non-constant and differentiable function such that f dash x is less than 2 f x and f of half is 1. Then the value of integral half to 1 f x dx lies in the interval 4 options are given. I repeat, f is a function which is positive, non-constant and differentiable in the given interval half to 1. It is also given that f dash x is less than 2 f x and the value of the function f at x equals half is 1. Correct. So, let us start with this inequality part. f dash x less than 2 f x, it suggests me as Correct? If I consider this number say c, f dash x minus 2 f x is equal to c where c is a negative number. I can see it is linear differential equation. So, its integrating factor is e to the power minus 2 x, right? So, let us do one thing, multiply it with e raised to the power minus 2 x. The benefit e to the power minus 2 x f dash x minus 2 f x into e to the power minus 2 x less than 0 giving me d by dx of fx into e to the power minus 2x is less than 0. It gives me the conclusion that this function fx into e to the power minus 2x is decreasing function in the given interval. Therefore, fx e to the power minus 2x is decreasing function in the given interval. Correct. Since x is lying in the interval half to 1, therefore, we can clearly see fx e to the power minus 2x. Up when we are talking about the function is decreasing means the inequality will be reversed when you talk about the values. So, this is greater than the value at 1 that is f1 into e to the power minus 2 and less than f half into e to the power minus 1. Correct. Let us multiply all by e to the power 2x so that we get integral after taking it 
half to 1 it is lying in the interval f1 let's say it's a constant term half to 1 e to the power 2x minus 2 into dx less than f half is given to me as 1 in the question so it is simply integral e to the power 2x minus 1 dx multiplied with 1 so the value of this integral is lying in this interval fine when we solve it we simply get within the boundaries half to 1 the right side is giving me e to the power 2x minus 1 divided by 2 fine this gives me f1 this is a problem factor let's talk about it little later this gives me simply e to the power 2x minus 1 upon 2 within the boundaries half to 1 when we put x equals 1 we get simply e x equals half we get 1 so upper bound is coming as e minus 1 divided by 2 so upper bound we have obtained e minus 1 divided by 2 let's talk about the lower bound now We can clearly say since it is given to me the function is the positive one correct this value is definitely greater than zero there is no harm in assuming this correct so this value is greater than zero so simply we obtain the result as half to one fx dx it is greater than zero but less than e minus one divided by two and giving me the option number d so correct answer for this question goes to d Let's go for the next question that is question number 43. Okay, let's take question number 43. A curve passes through 1 comma pi by 6. Let the slope of the curve at each point x comma y be y by x plus sec y by x, x is positive number. Then the equation of the curve is given by four options are mentioned. The question is quite simple again from the differential equation. It is given that the slope at each point is this one y by x plus sec y by x. So let's write it as since dy by dx is equal to y by x plus sec y by x. So clearly it is differential equation. We can make a substitution y equals vx on substituting y equals vx. We will simply be getting dy by dx is equal to v plus x dv by dx well known to us. Correct. Let us put it here which simply leaves me with the answer as v plus x dv by dx equals v plus sec v v is cancelled on both sides we get the equation changing to the form cos v dv is equal to dx by x or sin v is equal to log x plus c please consider this log to the base e v means y by x sin y by x is equal to log x plus c it is given that the curve is passing through the point 1 comma pi by 6 right it is mentioned in the question means when you put x equals 1 y is pi by 6 sin pi by 6 that is half since it passes through 1 comma pi by 6 therefore we get half is equal to 0 plus c so the value of c comes out as half substituting it back we get the solution as sin y by x is equal to log x plus half correct so the we get the solution as sin y by x equals log x plus half that is the option number a right so correct answer is a so quite simple one direct what you need to do in this question is dy by dx is given to you correct replace it with v plus sec v is equal to v plus x dv by dx integrate it you get the answer sin y by x is equal to log x plus c and at last c comes as half let's go to question number 44 